Deep in Spain, among the rolling hills and lush landscapes, lies a place of immense scientific importance, Atapuerca. This site is not just a geographical location, it is a treasure trove of history and prehistory, offering a window into the distant past. This amazing archaeological site, recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is renowned for its extensive network of caves filled with fossils and artifacts. These caves have been meticulously excavated by dedicated archaeologists who have unearthed a wealth of information about our ancient ancestors. The fossils and bones discovered here provide invaluable insights into human evolution in Europe. They tell the story of how early humans lived, adapted, and evolved over hundreds of thousands of years. Each bone, each artifact, is a piece of the puzzle that helps us understand our origins. Atapuerca, with its rich historical layers, reveals the lives of our early ancestors. It shows us their journeys, their struggles for survival, and their remarkable ability to adapt to changing environments. The tools and artifacts found here paint a vivid picture of their daily lives and ingenuity. The significance of Atapuerca lies not only in the age of the discoveries, but also in the diversity and preservation of the items found. The well-preserved fossils and artifacts offer a rare and detailed glimpse into the past, allowing scientists to study them in great detail and draw important conclusions about human history. From the earliest humans in Western Europe to the behaviors and cultures of later human populations, Atapuerca tells a comprehensive story that spans over a million years. This timeline of human evolution is crucial for understanding how we have developed biologically and culturally over millennia. Atapuerca is a place where the story of humanity unfolds in a continuous narrative, showing how our ancestors evolved and adapted to become the modern humans we are today. It is a testament to the enduring quest for knowledge and the unending curiosity that drives us to explore our origins. Inside Atapuerca, some sites are super important for understanding human evolution. Cima del Elefante, meaning Pit of the Elephant, has old elephant bones. But even more importantly, it has the oldest human bones in Western Europe, from 1.2 million years ago. These bone pieces, like a jawbone and teeth, show humans were in Europe much earlier than we thought. Another important site, Grandolina, shows us a time about 800,000 years ago. Here, scientists found an extinct human relative. Finding was a big surprise and changed what we thought about the human family tree. The site also has some of the oldest tools in Western Europe, showing what these early humans could do. Atapuerca isn't just about bones and tools, it shows us how our ancestors lived. This site is a window into the daily lives of early humans, revealing their survival strategies, social structures, and even their diets. The artifacts found here, from simple stone tools to more complex items, tell a story of innovation and adaptation over thousands of years. The site has the oldest evidence of human cannibalism in the world, this shocking discovery provides a glimpse into the extreme conditions our ancestors faced. The cut marks on the bones suggest that cannibalism was not just a random act, but possibly a survival strategy during times of scarcity. It raises questions about the social and environmental pressures that led to such drastic measures. This is a little scary, but it shows how hard life was for early humans, maybe because there wasn't enough food or because different groups fought. The harsh environment meant that every day was a struggle for survival. Hunting was dangerous and required skill and cooperation, while conflicts with other groups could be deadly. These challenges shaped the development of early human societies and their behaviors. We also learn more about them from Cima de los Huesos, or Pit of Bones. This site is a treasure trove of information, offering insights into the physical characteristics, health, and lifestyles of our ancient relatives. The sheer number of fossils found here allows scientists to study variations within the population and understand how they adapted to their environment. This place has a huge number of human fossils, over 1,600, from 300,000 to 600,000 years ago. Each bone tells a story, from injuries and diseases to the daily wear and tear of life. By analyzing these fossils, researchers can piece together a detailed picture of early human life including their physical capabilities, diet, and even their social interactions. 
So many bones in one pit makes us wonder, did they bury these people on purpose? This question opens up fascinating possibilities about early human behavior. If these remains were intentionally placed, it suggests a level of social organization and ritualistic behavior that we often associate with more modern humans. It could indicate that these early humans had complex beliefs about death and the afterlife. If they did, it means they had a complex society and maybe even thought about things symbolically, which is a big step in human evolution. Symbolic thinking is a hallmark of advanced cognitive abilities, allowing for the development of language, art, and culture. The evidence from Atapuerca and Cima de los Huesos suggests that our ancestors were capable of abstract thought and had a rich inner life, paving the way for the complex societies we see today. Atapuerca isn't just a museum, it's a place where scientists are still working. New digs are always finding new things and teaching us more about the past. Scientists and students from all over the world come to Atapuerca to study. Atapuerca is important for everyone, not just scientists. People want to visit and learn about their ancient past. Tours, educational programs, and the Museum of Human Evolution in Burgos help people of all ages learn about human evolution and why Atapuerca is so important. The story of Atapuerca isn't finished. Scientists think there's even more to discover around the current dig sites. As technology gets better, we'll learn even more about the people who lived in Atapuerca. What we've found at Atapuerca has changed what we know about human evolution. Atapuerca reminds us of our shared human story, connecting us to our ancestors from millions of years ago. Atapuerca will continue to amaze people for years to come. Section 6. Cima del Elefante, the first people of Atapuerca. Cima del Elefante, a deep hole inside Atapuerca, shows us a very different Europe. Here, with fossils of extinct animals like saber-toothed cats and giant deer, we find the earliest humans in Western Europe. Finding a jawbone and teeth from 1.2 million years ago was a huge discovery. These first people, who lived in a new and different place, were probably or something similar. Finding them at Cima del Elefante shows that humans left Africa earlier than we thought and that they could travel long distances. This discovery changed how we understand early humans spreading across the world, showing they were in Europe much earlier than we knew. Section 7. Grandolina. Learning about the fascinating history of Homo antecessor, an ancient human species that has intrigued scientists for decades. Grandolina a big cave in Atapuerca, tells us about an important part of human evolution. It serves as a window into the distant past, revealing secrets that have been buried for hundreds of thousands of years. This extinct human species, from about 800,000 years ago, is only known from fossils found here. The discovery of these fossils has provided invaluable insights into the physical characteristics and lifestyle of Homo antecessor. They had a mix of old and new features, and scientists are still learning about where they fit in the human family tree. Their unique combination of traits has sparked debates and discussions among researchers as they try to piece together the puzzle of our ancestry. Finding these fossils at Grandolina changed what we thought about human evolution. It challenged previous theories and opened up new avenues of research, prompting scientists to rethink the evolutionary timeline. We used to think it was a straight line, but now we know it's more complicated with many different human species living at the same time in different parts of the world. This realization has added layers of complexity to our understanding of human evolution, showing that it was not a simple linear process. We also learn about how they lived, how they used tools, and maybe even that they were cannibals. The tools and artifacts found at Grandolina provide a glimpse into the daily lives of Homo antecessor, revealing their ingenuity and adaptability. The possibility of cannibalism adds a darker, more complex layer to their story, suggesting that survival in the prehistoric world was fraught with challenges. Section 8. Cima de los Huesos, a bone pit full of secrets. Cima de los Huesos, a deep chamber at the bottom of a 13-meter shaft, is a mysterious and spooky place. Here in the dark are the bones of many people, all mixed together. 
This pit of bones has the largest and best preserved collection of human fossils from the Middle Pleistocene from 430,000 years ago. So many people of different ages and no other animal bones make scientists think they were buried on purpose. If that's true, it's the earliest evidence of funerals showing a big change in how humans thought and how their society worked. The fossils themselves, from, tell us about the ancestors of Neanderthals. Section 9. Atapuerca. The human story written in stone. Atapuerca shows us the power of the past. Its history, over a million years old, helps us understand where we came from and how humans evolved. Because the site is so well preserved, and because so many scientists have worked there, we know a lot about life in prehistoric Europe. From the first humans who left Africa to the development of complex societies, Atapuerca tells the story of humanity. As we keep exploring this amazing place, we'll learn even more about who we are and where we come from. Atapuerca reminds us that our past isn't lost. It's written in stone, waiting for us to discover it and understand it.